The composition of the Earth's crust is a major source of natural radiation, and an area in Indonesia was recently found to have a high naturally occurring background radiation level. To better understand the possible health effects of chronic exposure from low dose rate ionizing radiation in our daily lives, we need to also understand the relationship between radiation risk and radiation dose. Radiation doses of more than 100 millisieverts will increase the risk of cancer by 0.5%. However, the increase of cancer risk is not certain at protracted or acute radiation doses below 100 millisieverts. Risks and health effects associated with chronic low-dose, low-dose rate exposures to ionizing radiation are uncertain and are still debated among scientists. As mentioned previously, the composition of the Earth's crust, or the soil on the ground, is a major source of natural radiation, and this composition varies depending on the location in the world. Natural radiation will also vary at different locations because of the variety of soils with different amounts of natural occurring radioactive materials. In 2014, National Nuclear Energy Agency of Indonesia, BATAM, reported on high-level terrestrial radiation dose rates in Mamuju, West Sulawesi. However, Information and data on internal and external ionizing radiation exposure to the residents of both Mamuju and the surrounding areas were not available. In 2015, Hirosaki University collaborated with Bataan and began an assessment of environmental radiation and radioactivity in the Mamuju area. In the high natural background radiation area, henceforth called HNBR of Mamuju, as part of our assessment, we estimated the internal doses due to inhalation and ingestion of natural occurring radioactive materials such as radon. And we estimated the external doses due to terrestrial radiation. In order to assess radiation levels over a large area in a short period, we utilized a carborn survey method. We used the NAI scintillation spectrometer in a car and conducted a carborne survey in the Mamuju and its surrounding areas. We took gamma counts every 30 seconds along the route and recorded the location of each measurement point using GPS. We found out that the dose rates in air in the Mamuju was higher than those in both North and South Mamuju. In addition, the gamma ray spectrometer was used to measure the gamma ray pulse height distribution in order to determine the natural radioactive concentrations in the soil. The photon peaks from the uranium-238 series, thorium-232 series, and potassium-40 were observed in both Mamaju and Hirosaki City, Omori, Japan. However, as you can see, the counts from these radionuclides observed at Mamaju were significantly higher than those observed in Hirosaki. Finally, we found the estimated external dose was 3.8 millisieverts. Thorium and uranium are two of the most common radioactive elements on Earth, and radon occurs naturally in small quantities through the decay of these elements. Radon is a radioactive, colorless, odorless, tasteless noble gas. Radon is under standard conditions, a gaseous aerosol, and easily inhaled, and therefore a health hazard. Gaseous radon can easily be accumulated in sealed structures and homes, and if there is no ventilation, then this will increase indoor radon concentration levels. Generally, people think that radon inhalation is the highest cause of lung cancer. However, this is only the second highest cause of lung cancer, followed by smoking. We also measured both outdoor and indoor radon concentrations in the Mamaju area. Generally, outdoor radon concentrations are low because it is easily diffused into the atmosphere. However, in the Mamaju area, outdoor radon concentrations were as high as the indoor concentration. These results suggest that even with proper ventilation, the houses in the area are not adequately protected against radon. We also installed passive radon and thoron discriminative monitors with solid-state track detectors to evaluate radon concentrations during summer and rainy seasons. We measured indoor radon concentrations over three to five months to assess the inhalation doses, taking into account the seasonal variation. 
we placed monitors in 47 houses in the study area. Conversion factors from track density to radon and thoron concentrations were evaluated using Kurosaki University's radon thoron exposure chambers. The estimated radiation dose from inhalation was 22 millisieverts. The lung cancer risk due to the inhalation of radon will increase. Therefore, we need to consider about how to reduce the risk of cancer. To estimate internal doses due to ingestion of radon in drinking water, the drinking well water was sampled at seven residencies, and we measured radon concentrations in drinking water using a portable type radon monitor. Finally, the estimated radiation dose from ingestion due to radon in drinking water was 1.1 millisievert. As you can see in the graph created using our measurements, the annual effective dose from natural sources in the Mamaju area is estimated to be 27 millisieverts. This annual effective dose from natural sources far exceeds the global average of 2.4 millisieverts, which is the global average dose from natural occurring background radiation. Epidemiological studies of health effects of chronic exposure to low dose rate radiation in Mamaju will be even more important in the future. These studies have been published, and for more information, you can scan the QR codes to access the articles.